It's just really hard to find it's hard to find specialist, period. Trisha Mooseman shares with me the difficulty she faces when trying to schedule timely medical appointments in Southern Nevada. Wait times for appointments have just been through the roof. Long, long yeah, and just like they didn't even want to put you on the wait list. It was, forget it. She explains that her son, Benjamin, has extensive medical needs, and her daughter, Lauren, assists with this care. He's got developmental delays. He's got a lot of syndromes. He's autistic. Lauren says, although her brother is 18, Benjamin functions at the level of a four or five year old. Trisha says finding adequate care is hard. We lost our neurologist. He left and went back to California last year, year before, and I never was able to find someone to replace him. And the Mooseman family isn't alone. Securing timely medical appointments is a widespread problem here in Southern Nevada. There just aren't enough of us and our schedules are full. Of, of things that come to us, um, you know, from the primary care. He okay. loves Minecraft. Dr. Howard Barron is a pediatric gastroenterologist with more than 30 years of practicing medicine in the Valley. What have you seen in regards to this doctor shortage that we face here in Southern Nevada? So, that, so you know, as you know, the city has doubled and tripled in size uh, in the last, you know, two decades and the medical community has not doubled or tripled in size. Nevada ranks 45th in the U.S. for active physicians per 100,000 people, according to the American Medical Association. With 7,388 licensed physicians in the state, we need an additional 1,500 primary care doctors to reach the national average. I hate, hate to say it, but um, there, there's a, it, the, the dollar drives that process quite a bit. Between high insurance premiums and low pay, Dr. Barron notes that primary care doctors are compelled to increase patient loads to sustain their practices. 10 or 15 patients a day in a primary care office, which would be a very reasonable number, isn't going to do that for them. So they have to double or triple that number of patients per day in order to make the revenue side work. And it's not just about money. It's probably not a question of if you will be sued if you practice in Nevada. It's more when you will be sued if you practice in Nevada. Gina Harris, a claims manager for a medical malpractice insurance company, attributes this to Assembly Bill 404, which raised compensation limits for medical negligence cases. Nobody wants to put their family, their house, their livelihood at risk if they don't have to. Other states, have different provisions. Other states are more friendly. Other states are more welcoming. Um, so it, it, that's why a lot of doctors leave the state. That's why a lot of doctors can't afford their medical malpractice premiums. Which leaves families like the Moosemans in desperate need of care and without the resources they need. Have you ever had the question run through your mind, should we move somewhere else? We have. Um, my husband's job is fantastic here. Um, so we haven't, but yes, you do feel very isolated. But she hopes changes in our healthcare system are coming soon. Bring on some more doctors for us. We need yeah. more, more, even nurse practitioners, um, yeah. physician's assistants would be phenomenal. Um, just easier access, shorter, quicker access to appointments. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Abel Garcia.